Hello YouTube! Welcome to another tip and trick video. Recently I uploaded a video where I showed you how to modify a Swiss Army knife into a bow drill Swiss Army knife. On this video I received a lot of comments and requests concerning my double rope drill technique. And in this video I want to show you the advantages of this technique. Before I start to explain this technique, let me tell you something really cool. After the upload from this uh, bow drill modification, Victorinox contacted me because they received so many emails. And this is thanks to you guys. Um, obviously, this is the way we, how we can move things. That's why don't stop it. Continue to write them emails. The official way to do this is the My Victorinox product ID tool on their website. The link to this tool you find in the description box below. And don't forget, together we are stronger. <laughs> I call this technique the double rope technique. No idea if this is the official, the official name, probably not. I learned this technique from my friend Taro from the YouTube channel Taro Movies. The link to his channel you find in the description box below. And already after the first try, I was sure that this is the right technique for me. First of all, you need a stick for the bow. I like a slightly curved stick, but a straight one works also. The length of the stick is between your forearm and your whole arm. This one is a bit short, but it works. The second step is to craft a notch at the end of the stick. I make this with the saw, like this. If you don't have a saw, you can also make a knot at the end of the stick. For example, something like a constrictor knot. So, this works also. In this case, I will go with the notch and not with the knot. So, I search the middle of the rope put it in the notch and now I make a knot that I receive a loop who is a bit shorter than the pole. Somewhere here. Like this. Okay now I shorten the line. Hold the drill in front of the two ropes, wrap one time around, go through with the end through the two ropes, like this. And now you are ready to drill. The double rope technique has several advantages over the normal one rope technique. The first one is as you can see, the drill stays stable if I hold it like this. With the one rope technique, I struggled always with the problem that as soon you let the drill free, he jumps out and he can hurt you. With the double rope technique, I have the advantage that I can, I can uh, um, produce much more traction on the drill because I have two loops around the drill. Here I just have one loop. And the, because of the two loops, it allows me to make the, the, the tension only with the thumb, like this. And I'm always able to adjust the, 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 the tension of the line. 
And here, I'm not able, I'm not really able to adjust the tension. So this is the second big advantage of this technique. Third advantage, because of the lower tension, you have less friction and less apprehension at the point where the ropes are crossing each other. That makes that the rope will, will uh, last longer than with the one rope technique. If you are in a survival situation and you want to make a fire with your shoelace, this can make the difference. From here, the rest of the steps until the fire as the sa are the same as usual, except the bearing block in the Swiss Army knife. So the grass is not really dry, but I hope it works. Yes! <laughs> okay, my friends. I hope this was an interesting technique for you. Please share your experience with these techniques with me. And um, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!